everyone. Happy Wednesday. We just had an amazing, epic talk with our guest, Adam Sosnick. I want you guys to know he gave such great insight on so many leads for young adults in the financial industry, not in just in Miami, but in all around the U.S. Adam, can you just give us a brief intro about you and how you got down here and what you do to help people with financials? All right, brief intro. Uh, how did I get down here to Miami? I was born here. Okay, so there you Miami go. Boy. Yeah, born and raised. And um, long story short, I had, did not go to school for finance. I went to school for communications, and I was always good at talking with people. So I, out of college, I did radio sales, stand-up comedy. I was a club promoter. I was a teacher. I was doing a lot of stuff but making no money. So in 2007, I got a job as a cold caller at a financial firm and uh, right before the recession. So um, I started from the bottom, literally. And now, 2019, almost 2020, I'm the VP of sales at my firm. And... Um, I basically realized how complicated the financial system is and I started a money coaching program to help everyday Americans just get better with money and simplify money. I love that and also what's insane guys is he talks about how most people are only there helping the 1%. This guy is here because he knows there's 99% of us who don't get the actual resources and tools that we need. Another crazy thing I thought was when you talk about debt it's student loans and my question for you is people who are suffering through student loans how do you accumulate the wealth or savings that's one sorry I'm loading you All good. the second one is people who can't afford that college education how can they get that level of knowledge to invest in the right situations sure um, I'm just gonna fire away fire away So. Um, College, it's not like when you graduate from college, they're like, here's a job, here's a million dollars, and you made it. It doesn't work that way. So um, I went to college for, went to Florida State, went, I had a communications degree, I went $30,000 in debt, came out of college, had no clue what I was gonna do. So regarding college and debt, if you know what you wanna do, and that career needs a degree, and it's a worthy investment taking out the loans, go for it. If you just think you need to go to college because that's what you think you need to do and your parents told you that or society tells you you gotta go to college to get a job, it doesn't work like that anymore. So I'm actually an advocate of getting a job after high school, learning something, maybe going to trade school, figuring out what you like. There's no rule that says college has to be from 18 to 22 and that's it. Start college when you're 22. Get some work experience, make some money, and then when you find out really what you want to do, then maybe you go to college. So the internet wasn't, it didn't exist when everyone was signing up to go to college. Okay, you can learn so much just by Googling and reading. So what I would tell somebody is before you start taking out thirty forty fifty thousand dollars in student loans pause think about it what do you want to do what's the return on your investment and then decide and also if you definitely want to go to college you could also go to a two-year community school for on the cheap live at home with your parents save that money and then you can transfer to a bigger school so having to go to college is no longer the rule yes. I love that guys you have to be just independent in your own momentum also, when you said learn, read online, do your research, any books that struck out to you for people that you're like, you got to read this, it's going to change your life? Yeah. Um, so don't get college and education twisted. I'm a huge advocate of education. education. And the numbers show the more that you learn and you go to school and you read, the more money you will make. Library cards are free if you still don't know that because I have one and it works. So being that I'm a money coach and I help everyday Americans get better with money, you would probably say, well, this wealth building book, or you would suspect I would 
give you an investing book. I, I would actually wouldn't. Book called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I, I know a lot of people have read it, but if you haven't, read it. And if you've read it before, read it again. Little techniques like treating people right, remembering people's names, um, little tips like that go a long way more than how to invest. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that you can learn along the, along the way. So love that book. Something that, that made me shift my focus from being in the financial world and starting this money coaching program for everyday Americans was a book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And that's about finding who you are, finding what you're passionate about, telling yourself you can do it. So there's so many different ways to make money. Um, be passionate about your career and smart about your finances. I love that. Yeah, and I think it's important in the sense of find what you're passionate about first. The money will come later. Definitely pay your dues, guys. The other thing that blew my mind, and I'm serious on this, because so many people said, Tatum, don't buy an apartment until 2020 because apparently there's gonna be like a market crash in the housing. But this man right here said, it's okay to rent. Can you please let us millennials know why we don't need to suffer yeah. about buying an apartment? Because that makes me already feel a huge weight off my shoulders. Totally, I'd love to um, help you with that. So. In my speech today at Epic Talks, I talked about the American dream has changed. I love America, love capitalism, love everything about our country, but when our parents were growing up, the American dream was go to school, you get married, have two kids, you get a house, the white picket fence, the two cars, the two car garage, you work for the same company for 40 years, they give you a pension, you retire, they give you a gold watch, peace, you're done. That doesn't exist anymore. Um, there was a saying back in the 80s that a lot of our parents lived by and that was he who dies with the most toys wins. Um, there was an article in the Washington Post that actually came out uh, a year or so ago and it says he who dies with the most toys now loses. So what I like to tell people is the updated version of that phrase in 2020 is he or she who lives with the highest flexibility and the lowest overhead wins. So what does that mean? You don't need to buy a house. There's a lot of pressure with that. Rent, get a roommate, rent. You don't need to have a car. You can Uber around. If you're thinking about starting a business, you don't need to have a brick and mortar storefront. Do it online. The game has changed. The American dream has changed and you just need to adapt. I love that. Yes, play by the rules that we have made within the change of this whole freaking economy. It's insane. <laughs> uh, last question. Sure. Any quotes that someone gave you or any little life sentences that someone was like, yeah, I can live by that and I'll always put it in my pocket? Yeah, one. Save that money. Save that money. So when I started my show, again, I worked in financial services for almost 13 years now started for, as a cold caller, making nothing. Now it's been 13 years, I'm the VP of sales at my firm, I made a lot of money, and I started this show really to give back to young Americans out there. Thank you. You're welcome. And really explain how money works. And I started my show, which you can find on Instagram at Saz Talks Money, S-O-S Talks Money. Um, I started asking financial advisors one question. What's the best piece of advice that you have for the millennial generation? What do you got? And 90% of the answer, of the answers were save that money. Because when you save and you're able to save and you're not drowning in debt and you can save money, you can invest, you can build wealth, you can give back to your community. It's really hard to do that if you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're not saving money. Right. So save that money. Yes. Basically what I hear is house parties over bars and brickle. Am I right? You can do it all. Kind of, sort of. The avocado toast thing was a big thing too. Kind of emphasize on the avocado toast. Because this became a meme, guys, where they said, he, the cameraman's cracking up, but it's true. Yeah. They said that millennials aren't buying houses because of the whole avocado toast epidemic, but it, or epidemic, sorry. But it makes sense. The and avocado toast epidemic. epidemic. <laughs> I've made it a thing, but it's true. So just 
Explain the more analogy. It's not actual avocado yeah. toast, guys. So I explain, so basically what I've done is I've interviewed financial advisors, celebrities, influencers, broke people, poor people, everyone, and I've basically broken down uh, money into the six principles of wealth. And principle one is you need to budget. Now within your budget, a budget is all, all it is is just a game plan for your money. You tell your money what to do rather than it dictate how to live your life. So within your budget, there's what I call the big three. The big three is your housing, your transportation, and your F and B, your food and beverage. Now your housing is your big one, your rent, your mortgage, that usually takes as much as, hopefully not as much as a third of your income. All of it. All of it. Transportation, which I don't have a car, I take all that money that I save from not having a car and pump it into investments. But the third thing is F and B, and the avocado toast analogy really is sort of a, it's, it's an analogy. It's basically saying if you're spending every day $15 on avocado toast, that's how much a week, how much a month. Next thing you know, you're spending $1,000 a month on F and B when if you just go to the store and get some toast and avocado, it might cost you two bucks. So if you want to do an avocado toast on Sunday brunch, that's cool. But if you're doing that every day, every weekend, that shit adds up. And that's the avocado toast analogy. Yes, ladies. So all my girls who love to brunch on Sundays, those bottomless mimosas aren't necessarily bottomless, OK? And you're probably also getting Starbucks on Monday morning, let's be real. Yeah. Make your own all, coffee. All that, all that stuff adds up. The coffee, the avocado toast, the Uber Eats, the takeout, the, you know, Within your butt, what I sell, tell people is I'm not worried about your Netflix stuff. I'm not worried about your gym membership for 30 bucks or 50 bucks or 100 bucks here. It's the big three things month in, month out that add up. Your housing, your transportation, and your F&B. If you can get those three things in order, the rest is easy. Guys, that was just a whole crash course. Uh, thank you so much. That was one epic talk. We appreciate you guys listening and following, and we hope to see you on another Wednesday. Can I, can I give one shout out to Epic Talks Miami? Because I haven't yeah. done that yet. Give all the shout outs, Epic done. Talks. So again, born and raised in Miami. I've done the nightlife scene. I work in finance. I've seen both sides of the equation, the save that money stuff that I do and the spend that money culture in South Beach. What Epic Talks is doing here is so needed here in Miami, making business and learning and networking fun and educational and part of the fabric of downtown Miami here. It's so needed and so kudos uh, to Melissa and to my man Jason Stone, the millionaire mentor, shout out to you. Um, and it's just awesome. So if you're looking for some motivation or some wisdom and you don't know where to start and you live in Miami, bingo right here. I just want to give another huge appreciation to Epic Talks and Adam for coming out because we're trying to make Miami business not competitive but collaborative. So thank you so much. Adam, any final words? No, I like that. You you really tied it up. Um, you can What's find the quote? Me. Yeah. What's the quote? Save that money. Save that money. That's uh, the slogan of my show. You can find me at Saz Talks Money. Uh, it's on all socials. That's SOS Talks Money. All we talk is money. All we talk is money. And uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, and I can't wait to start saving money. So thank you guys so much. That was one epic talk. I'm Tatum Price. Have a great night.